everybody feels like If you've ever recorded guitars or vocals in GarageBand and there's a few parts where the timing is just slightly off, you can re-record the whole thing or you can use this little hack that I'm going to show you in this video. Let's go. Hi, I'm Pete Johns. This is Studio Live today. Welcome back to another five minute GarageBand tip. Let's dive in. So here's the situation. You've recorded a bunch of guitars, a bunch of vocals in GarageBand. You go to listen to it, ready to mix, and you find that the timing is slightly off in just a couple of places. Well, you could, of course, go back and re-record everything, or you can use a little bit of editing to make things sound pretty good. Let's show you how. Example one, let's use a vocal. I'm going to play back this opening to the song and take a listen and see if you can hear a word or two that are just a little out of time. Everybody feels like they don't have a place in the world. So to me, everybody feels like they don't have. It just seems a bit rushed there. Let's play it again. Everybody feels like they don't have a So the they don't is what we want to focus in on here. So let's solo this vocal part and play it back. Feels like they don't have a place. So there it is, and you can even see there, they don't. It's just a little early. Now here's where a little tip can come in. You can tap on here, tap again, hit the split button, and scrape that one down there. We can then go to the end of this phrase and just cut it right about there, and tap it, tap it again, hit split, and bring it down. Now, all we need to do now is grab this section and just drag it gently across. Now you can start with just one little notch there and then see what it sounds like and move it to wherever you like. But let's just play this back now with this moved just one notch across and see if this is going to make a difference to our timing. Everybody feels like they don't have a place in the world better, right? Yeah, you can hear that instead of it coming in a bit too early, it's all right. Now, you might be thinking, but John's, there's a gap. Well, when you play it back in isolation, you'll hear the gap. In the mix, you really don't hear it. Let's listen to it soloed. Feels like they don't have a it's just in the breath. And as long as your splits are where there's no actual audio, you'll be fine. The other thing you can do is actually just fill it out a little bit. So just grab this and move it and then you'll just get that little bit of extra in between there. So if you've got a bit of room noise or breathing noise, it'll actually sound even more natural. Let's play it back. Everybody feels like they don't have a play. So yeah, a little tiny clip there, right? But then bring it back into your mix. Take a listen. Everybody feels like they don't have a place virtually not there. And you can even use automation if you want to, to actually reduce the volume and actually ride out that bump if you get a little bump. But if you do your split where there's no audio, you'll be good to go. Example two, let's take a look at these guitars. Now let's play this opening to the track. Sounds like this. Just there. Did you hear it? It's just coming in a little too early. So it's right here. We'll play this little section again. That note, that do do do, and if we line this up, we should be able to find the culprit. And there it is. It's just this note. Look how much early it's coming in there. And maybe even this one down here, maybe these two, we can just shimmy these notes back a tiny bit. Let's do that again. We'll use the same method we used before. We're just going to line this up just before the note. Tap, tap again, hit split, drag on down, and then come to a part just after the note. Tap again. Tap, tap, and split, and bring that one down. Now we can grab this middle part, and again, just move it a notch, and let's see what this does to this section. Yeah, hear how that's now right back in the zone? Uh, we'll just solo this out. It's right on there. And again, there's a little tiny gap there, but you really can't hear it. Let's do the same down on this guitar. Now this one's a rhythm guitar, so it goes straight back in there, but no problem. All we need to do is go to the bit before that next note, which is on time and split there like so, and then split just before the note here. Again, like we did before, just find a spot there, split, tap, tap, and split. And look, this is what folks used to do when they used to edit stuff in a real studio. And now what we're gonna do is grab the very end of this and just shorten it slightly, and then grab the whole thing and move it across. And you can use your bar markers up the top there to see where it actually should be coming in there. So now, if we play all of this back, it should be way more in time.
excellent. And once again, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. If you've got multiple spots where you're out of time, go back and re-record. There's nothing quite like re-recording, but if everything sounds great except for a couple of little spots, this is a great way to get that fixed. A heap more tips down in the description, and I'll see you next time.